I'm Jennifer Kennedy. Today, we begin Huff Quilt number 83. 82, I gave away yesterday. And to a missionary. This one is for a missionary. He brought the sheets to me yesterday. So I'm scoring like free sheets now on the day basis. Really cool. He got the sheets. So this is gonna be for his outside the back of his quilt, and it's a queen flat sheet. This is also a queen flat sheet. This is going to be the middle of his quilt. Or as my brother David says, the sheet that is never to be seen again. Seriously. Because you never see it again. The inside sheet that I use, it's not seen when the quilt's done. This is what I quilt on. I quilt on top of this sheet. Now obviously he bought me a twin size fitted sheet, which really won't work at all. Put it back in the pack. Wait, the good news, look, the good news is, look, look, seriously. The good news is, the first original sheet he brought me, I'll be right back. Is this, and it is a full size, which is a little bigger than a twin, but still not a queen. He brought me this. And I was very unhappy. I was like, look, I'm not even going to cut it. Bring me a queen to back it with because I'm not going to cut it. So, let's look and see if this, because it looks so big, it looks like a queen. Let's see what size it is because I want to use that fabric to incorporate into the quilt because he likes it. That's why he picked it out. This is a full flat. So, if this is a full, we don't have to cut any of it because we can back a full size quilt with the queen size quilt sheet. This one's fitted too. King size fitted. It's fitted? King size. I think it's, since it's king size, I won't have to trim so much. Seriously. I will have to trim some, but it's fitted. <coughs> I can do this. Okay, if it's fitted, that means it's like this around the edges. So I'm not sure how big it is, but... Okay, we'll wing it. I don't want it too small. Okay. I never measure. I just do this. I don't know how long most of my quilts are. One was eight foot long. 79 was 8 foot long. That was fun. But yes. Some sharp scissors. I sharpen them with my sharpener. Okay. Yeah, not perfect, but what we need. So we know it's going to be that way long, so we have to take some of this off. I wish I didn't have to, but I have to since it's so fitted. That's not fitted. That is what we're backing it with is a fitted sheet. So it's not going to be as large as your regular queen size sheet. So I'm going to take the scrunchy material out of the edge so that it will be as big as it can be. I'm going to do that after I film get on the right size. I'm from the hood, <laughs> the land of plains, so if things aren't what they're supposed to be, I still make it work. Okay, there's a plan on this. He wants to put a unicorn on it, and he likes this. And what I was going to do is I was going to cut the excess if this had been a flat queen, which it's not. It's a twin fitted, totally different animal. What I was going to do is save the excess to use to put it on the middle of this quilt. So now instead, I have all this to incorporate in this quilt. I'm not going to use all of it because it covers the quilt. But I do have this now, a lot of it. And I still have the orange, which will be the back. What I'm going to have to do is open it, take 
the fitted part off, cut it off like right there, save as much fabric as you can, spread it out, cut it long. This I'm going to use as patches on here, so he will get the look of this with the orange that you want. Oh, I'm so tired. I have anything to say? Yeah.